Okay, we're going to do a uh, quick little test review of a album of mine. Um, we're going to go over the album Phoenix from Dan Fogelberg, um, released in 1979. Um, actually, one of the first albums I ever bought when I joined the old Columbia House Record Club. Um, a big favorite of mine growing up brings me uh, back to running around in my Camaro and listening to these songs on this tape, which it wasn't, it was a cassette tape, obviously I was playing it in the car. So anyway, um, we're gonna go down the tracks and um, I'll just kind of give you a brief um, summary of the songs, what I like, what I don't like. Um, anyway, um, so the title is Phoenix. Now this, this album is kind of unlike a lot of the Fogelberg albums. There's definitely some, um, some pretty pretty good rocking songs on here, which he really wasn't known for. He had a couple here and there, but, um, so it starts out with, um, a song called Tullamore Do, which is an intro, a real quiet, kind of moody intro into the title track Phoenix, which w was, uh, an outstanding track, about a six minute track. Um, really, really was a great tune. It was played on the radio briefly and it, you know, has a lot of uh, stops and starts and it just, it just really, it really grabs you. Um, a big, big favorite of mine. I've been listening to it since 79, so been listening a long, long time. Uh, love that track. Um, Gypsy Wind is the next song that's also a very good song. It's very mellow. It's very uh, Fogelberg-like, uh, acoustic uh, song. Uh, very nice tune. Um as far as his uh, quieter songs, it's not really one of my favorites, but it's decent. It's listenable. Um, so we move on to the next one, The Last to Know. So I didn't really listen to that song as a kid. I would, I would skip songs to get to ones that I knew and that I wanted to hear. So, um, the last to know is actually, um, it's also a softer song, but it's got a, just a beautiful melody. Um, it's, it's just a great, great song. I really, really love it. Um, it's, it's just, you know, it's, it's short. It's only like three, three minutes, which I'm, I'm not a big fan of short songs. But anyway, it's a beautiful song. Uh, very easy, accessible. Um, I think, you know, females would like it. Because um, I know some of this is not really, I would say, for females in general, but anyway, that's just, that's just an opinion. Um, the next song is a big favorite of mine. Um, I listened to it a ton in high school and, um, and going forward, I've listened to it for, for years ever since, um, is Face the Fire, uh, which, um, again, goes against a lot of the uh, Fogelberg uh, softer songs. This is definitely a hard rocking song. Um, 
some people some people don't like it because of the uh, political slant. Um, talks about Three Mile Island and what was going on then. Um, I just love the song. I just think it's great. Um, again, a little bit longer song for for Fogelberg, but uh, excellent, um, excellent song. Brings back a lot of memories, and um, just just love it. Uh, the next song is "Wishing on the Moon." Um, that's another great underrated album cut that uh, maybe doesn't get a whole lot of notice, but uh, again, it's hard. It's harder rocking than the uh, what the probably the a lot of the Fogelberg fans want to hear. But I love it. Uh, "Wishing on the Moon" has got a great melody, uh, just great vocals, um, just an outstanding, outstanding song. Um, and on the um, the first release of this on CD, the recording was terrible, and the uh, on especially you know I noticed it throughout, of course, but um, I really noticed it on "Wishing on the Moon," and then I got a a new one which had a uh, remastered, and it was much better quality. Uh, it just sounded so much better. So anyway, that's another one of my favorites. I uh, love that song. Um, the next song is uh, one of the one of the hits, the top forty hits from the album. There was two of them. Um, the song is called Heart Hotels. Um, it's a nice song. Um, very accessible. Uh, to the masses, um, I'm not a big fan of it. It's okay. I, I don't. I don't hate it, but it's it's just not my. It's just not my thing. Um, some hits I love. Some I don't. Uh, so Heart Hotels is one of those that eh, just not not a big fan of, but. Um, it uh, it was a big success for Fogelberg, and I'm sure he made some uh, some good money and uh, helped him do it a tour for the album. And uh, anyway, um, song eight, uh, another big big hit, um, longer, which has been played and. Probably.